Finally, after a long wait, SpaceX will finally launch Starship, the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. Elon Musk is quite positive about this first orbital launch for Starship SN15 that has been delayed due to a pending environmental assessments from the Federal Aviation Administration. Musk tweeted the following, We'll have 39 flight-worthy engines built by next month, then another month to integrate, so hopefully in May for orbital flight tests. Even if the FAA would have rejected the proposal for launch, Elon Musk already had a plan B in place where he would have launched the vehicle from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The spaceship, built for taking cargo and people to the moon, Mars and beyond, is indispensable to SpaceX to carry out its missions. Keep watching this video right to the end to know more details about the spacecraft and why it is going to start a new chapter in the history of space travel. Starship SN15 and SN20 Starship, consisting of Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket, is a fully reusable transportation system that has been designed to carry people and cargo to space. The reusability feature has quite a lot of benefits to it, one of them being that there is an increased turnaround time, so the spacecraft will be able to take more frequent trips to space. It is the world's most powerful launch vehicle to have ever been developed, as it can carry about 100 metric tons of weight to the Earth's orbit. That is an insane amount of weight. One step closer to shifting civilizations, aren't we? The massive 120-meter-long Starship SN20 will have Raptor 2 engines that are reusable Methalox stage combustion engines. Sounds quite amazing, doesn't it? Not to the FAA. As a result, there were certain changes made that have enabled this flight. The Upgraded Factory for Starship SpaceX started making a brand new facility for manufacturing Starship. The first vertical columns were erected on 19th April 2022. Construction of the new factory began adjacent to Starbase's existing tents. Within just a few days, the workers at SpaceX made a lot of progress. Several roof beams measuring a good 200-plus feet wide were assembled out of smaller pieces and installed on top of the structure's vertical beams. Design and modifications made for a successful launch. The entire development of Starship has been funded by SpaceX mostly. SpaceX has built nine full-scale models of Starship and tested them till date. They have conducted pressure tests, fire tests, cryogenic tests, and many more. The Super Heavy Booster Stage, which is first and bottom most stage, has 33 sea level optimized Raptor engines. The Super Heavy Booster's tank can hold 7.9 million pounds of propellant, consisting of 6.2 million pounds of liquid oxygen and 1.8 million pounds of liquid methane. In 2021, Super Heavy BN4 was designed for the Starship SN20. After Starship SN20 was stacked on Super Heavy in October 2021, catching mechanical arms were installed onto the launch tower. However, Musk later informed all SpaceX employees that Raptor engine's production line was not sufficiently mature. The current version includes the Raptor 2 engine, which is the next generation in the Raptor family. The engine may produce 2.3 mn of thrust, with its specific impulse reduced by 3 seconds. The Starship has been designed to replace Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Due to its reusability, it is greatly going to reduce launch costs and hence could be used on a commercial basis in the future. SpaceX might also use it as a suborbital transportation vehicle, and the U.S. Armed Forces seems to be interested in the prospects of this project. They have even signed a 102 million USD contract with SpaceX to check the feasibility of the idea of providing cargo anywhere in the world within an hour's time. However, this has been met with a lot of criticism and environmental concerns as these launches and missions will only increase the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Future Plans for Starship SpaceX has explained the planned trajectory of Starship in a report that was submitted to the Federal Communications Commission. The rocket is planned to launch from Starbase, following which the Super Heavy booster will separate and perform a soft water landing around 20 miles from the Texan shoreline. Starship already has some world records to its name and is going to add some more by taking the first civilian passengers to the moon. Japanese entrepreneur Yusaku Mazawa and the crew of Dear Moon in 2023 will take a one-week-long trip to the moon. Seems like soon enough, your dream of vacation to the moon might become a reality. SpaceX has planned on using Starship for various purposes, such as space exploration, military uses, commercial uses, and even space colonization in the future. Yes, forming colonies on Mars. All of us know how much of a fan Musk is of this idea. He is quite optimistic about this and believes that for the long-term survival of our species, it is essential that we colonize Mars. 
Though it might seem quite ambitious, SpaceX has also planned on landing first humans on Mars before 2026. If everything goes as planned for the Starship, it might go to the Moon and even Mars in the coming few months. If you have enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more content and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update.